Affinity Photo has added a new feature in 2.6. This is for PC and Mac. This is an object selection tool. So how to set it up? First thing is find the object selection tool in your tools panel. Now you could be able to find it here. I couldn't. What I needed to do was go to view and then down to customize tools. And in that you got here. Here it is. This little I think it's an owl, I assume it's something like that, and simply just drag it over and add it very quickly to your panel. But you might not need to do that, but certainly I did need to do that. So click close. So got to select it, make certain it's selected. But another thing to do before you do anything else, and that's go to Finti Voto up here and go to the settings. Now on the PC, it might be slightly different to find the settings, but find the settings or preferences. Go to settings. With this, go to machine learning models, and I'm going with CPU and GPU. I'm not certain if it's gonna make much difference, but we I'm gonna go with that one. I think that was the default. And also click install. You can also uninstall it as well. So you've got segmentation and saliency. Now, obviously just read the documentation to see whether one or the other is more useful for yourself. I've just gone for both, as by I assume by default most people will go for that. And you can see it's 290 megs, 72 megs, and close. And now I don't want to do that because, so I'm just going to cancel, close, don't restart. I don't know what I changed, but it's obviously didn't like that. However, once you've done that, just go here and you can hover over here. Just all these, and you can see what happens. Now, you'll notice along the top, You've got a few options. Just go to here, mode. If you just go for new, it will just be so every time you select it. So you just click that or that person, that will be separate. So it will create a selection. You click another one, it will create another section, but will not add to it because this is the add option. So let's just go with the initial one, and that's for a new. You'll also notice there's a multi part object. Now, in this case, I don't think there's anything particular that I can show for multi part if I haven't seen it. So let's just, if I hover over here, yes, here's some, this person here. If I hover over this person, you can see what happens. His leg is selected there, but he isn't selected up there. Now, if I go up here, cross fingers, it should, if I hover over here, ha, no, it hasn't worked out that that person is actually part of that. That's the idea of the multi-part. So clearly something's a bit odd here. Maybe it refines itself. It's a model. It learns maybe over time. It will learn that this leg is connected to this person. <laughs> but that's the point of the multi-part. So if you've got like a line or pipe or something, you select one part of it, it should work out the other side. So it joins it all together as a selection. Quite helpful, quite clever in most cases. Also, you've got a soft edges option, but you can also, of course, go here, click the refine, and then you can modify it even more than perhaps using the soft edges. I've just got it on because that was the default. Maybe I might decide to turn it off at some point if it starts to bug me. But let's go and select now. And you can see as I hover around, I can create selections and all these. So I might say, you know what? I want the floor. Now, Let's just go here to soft edge. Let's just turn it off. And you can see it's probably a bit sharp, but still, I think personally, it does leave a bit of a gap. Now, maybe that's not true. Let's just click it. So just click, and now you can see selection. I don't think it makes a brilliant, so, and again, this is one of the things, maybe it learns, and as you refine things, it picks up that you don't want this sort of weird gap. So there's not perfection. I think in many cases, I've been running through this all afternoon, trying out different people. Sometimes I think it does a good job, sometimes maybe not. But you see, I've got a selection there. Now, if I go and click this person, and this, because I'm using, this time I've got the add option. So let's just click there, new again. So click here. Now he's selected. Now, if I go to the add option, which is this one, so now it will always add. So let's just click here. She's selected as well. Click here, and she's selected. Now, if I go here, you can see subtract, so subtract now. I've got this one, change of color here. You can see a change of color there. Click here, and the selection is sort of gone, but it's still not perfect. Again, maybe this one thing's machine learning. You can see it's got a little bit of a selection there, still 
sort of in that image, I can see a selection there. So let's just go back to add and I can click here and click it and so on. You can see, you can very rapidly add a selection from all these various objects. And of course, you can use different objects. I've been using it with like type. Type's really good. It really is very good at selecting. So you can hover over certain letters and click and it will select that. Click again, another one and so on. So you can select say a whole word by doing that. Maybe it's in a document. It's on sort of, obviously it's not normal type but it's a part of a document, you can then select all those. And I think it works quite well. Let's go and select maybe one of the ones I've just been working with earlier. Uh, let's just, this one. Here's some fact. However, I will notice that it does, doesn't work it out exactly. So let's just hover over here again. Let's go back to the tool. So here it is selected, object selection tool. And now it's just obviously did a bit of processing there. It was obviously thinking about it for a few seconds. You can hover over here. You can hold down some modifiers. There's an alter option, alter option. And I'm just gonna hold that down. And does it make any difference? Sometimes I've noticed it does. And I'm just, in this case, it doesn't seem to. It just seems to hover over there. It doesn't select the E. I want the E. I don't want the block. It doesn't seem to work that out. Maybe again, over time, it will work out that yes, I really want this. I don't know how it will work that out, but I guess that's the whole point of AI technology. And again, you hover over here. Maybe it works out once and then it thinks, oh, that's what we want. Don't know. But still, let's go back to the other one because I want to show another thing. So select and deselect. What you can do is this. You can hover over here. So you think, I don't want to select the whole person. There are a few modifiers. Unfortunately, my screen is just cutting off down here. So it's the way, let's just resize this. Can I see? No, it doesn't actually give any details. That would have been really nice, but it doesn't actually give any details. And I noticed another problem. The help doesn't seem to be updated. So if you go into help, if you go to help at the top and then look for object selection tool, my version of help is still I don't know what version it is, but it certainly hasn't got anything about the object selection tool. So you probably have to find out via videos, via forums, etc. And of course, there's the Affinity Photo forum. It's a great source of information. But go here, hold down the Alter Option key, and now you can see what happens. See, I'm holding down the Alter Action Selection key there. And now you can see it just selects the jersey, which is what I want. Or maybe up here, his head. No, it's selecting both. I don't want that. It's working out. It's trying to work out that his face and his hands I want to select. I don't want that. Now, I don't know if it... Yes, hold down the shift as well. It further breaks it down. This is a bit weird. I know these sort of things. So there's an options. Hold down the shift. Hold down the alter option key. And you can then run through these and select different areas. It does seem to have a mind of its own, actually, because why isn't it now selecting that? hold down the ultra option key again and I select the arms let's just select there and you can see that's highlighted now it's a fairly reasonable selection I can see there's a slight error in it it's not perfect but at least it's fairly selected but hold down the shift and it does give me the option to further refine that as I hover over now unfortunately ah, oh, it still doesn't do it oh it does it splits it that hand and yep it does do it has to be very precise, I think, the actual, maybe zoom in, I don't know, maybe that probably be a better option. But you can see, you can then select maybe that. You might want to select the trousers. Let's just select trousers. So click there, got the trousers selected. I think that's a fairly decent selection. Not brilliant, but probably better than I could do. And once you've done that, of course, then you can go and apply various effects. So layer, new adjustment layer, and let's just go for, say, channel mixer. Just gonna select one. And then you can obviously tweak and change things. You can just change there and close that. And you've got obviously that selection and let's just go select and deselect. Now you'll notice one thing, of course, still got the this. So it's a layer. If you want, of course, just merge them together. There is another option, final option to show. Let's just remove this. I don't want that now. So let's just remove that there. So just delete it and again, Object selection tool, just like that. And you can hover there. So I'm just going to click on this person. So click on her. Once you've got her, you can, if you want, go here as well. Refine. That's a really useful feature. So click refine. And this pops up. And you can refine it. 
now it's you can see it's actually pretty good i think i think it's made a really good decent job um maybe yes i think so but what you can do is you can tweak things maybe smooth and also you can go here and you've got output which i think is a really nice feature personally i think the feature should be available actually at the initial level for the object selection tool so when you select something it puts it in another layer wouldn't that be a nice quick and easy feature well i think it would anyway so selection new layer you got new layer mask even better option to a new document wouldn't that be nice as well i would love that because sometimes you select something and you think you know what it'd be nice to put it in a new document now of course i can put it in a new document but it would be nice if this option was here and click apply and now click apply it takes a few seconds to process it. it's put it into a new layer slightly confusing in that it does put it to a new layer but also what it does it removes the visibility you think oh it's deleted it no it hasn't but it is over there but you can simply click here and bring it back again but it's an odd feature don't know why they did that personally i don't like that but still it's there and you can bring that but it would be nice if it could be put quickly into a new document and that's why i think it would be nice and actually an option here more than within the refine but they haven't done it that way anyway that is the new object selection tool maybe there's some lots of other features in the tool that can be used and i'm quite certain it might be very useful for all kinds of abstract designs as well i have yet to try it in abstract designs please let me know in the comments if you'll be interested to see some experiments with that maybe it won't work as well as I think it could but it should be interesting to see if it does that maybe again with patterns as well might be really interesting to see what it does with that as well please any comments are you going to use this are you going to do you really do you like the fact that it's just on your machine now a lot of people may prefer it to be in the cloud i'm really pleased that they've gone for applying it to my machine because i just prefer that more than taking everything off to the cloud also will it be useful i don't use selections a huge amount i use selections a bit when i need them it's great that the feature's there but it's not such a major importance that's why i never worry too much about 100 percent accuracy in the actual selection or mask etc a like or dislike always appreciated your thoughts also please subscribe if you haven't subscribed bye